What's up YouTube, it is me Smooth Grilled C, and today we're going to be taking a look at a few redstone clocks. So a clock circuit is a pulse generator that produces a loop of specific pulses repeatedly. Um, some, some will run forever and some are designed to be stopped and started. Uh, first we're going to take a look at an observer clock. So basically this one is facing two observers next to each other and they're observing each other update and updating and observing that update and so on and so forth. So as you can see we've got a clock. It, it constantly ha updates and constantly puts an output signal. Um, this one is really easy to build. What you need is a sticky piston and an observer into that sticky piston. We're going to put that observer into an observer and let's grab a repeater. Throw a lever on this sticky piston. And there's your clock. So next is the torch clock and basically what we have going on here is a torch powering this line, powering the block, activating the torch and so on and so forth in a line to the point where it gets back to the original torch and it causes it to happen again. Um, this one's this one's really simple. We've got a torch on a block going into some redstone dust and this is too close. We've got a torch on a block going into some redstone dust soft powering a block with a torch on it going into some redstone dust and so on and so forth. We're going to wrap it around and we're going to bring it up to here and as soon as you place down that last redstone dust it, it affects it uh, activates your your clock and you can bring your output out of any well I guess not you can bring your output out of this dust back here next up is the hopper clock and these are my favorite um, so basically you have one item in this hopper and it's cycling back and forth between these two hoppers and it's being read by this comparator over and over again as it cycles and giving you an out uh, an output so we stop cycling the item through the hoppers and it shuts off we power the the hoppers and the item cycles and we have our clock <clears throat> so you'll have your input redstone dust we're gonna put two hoppers like this let me grab a comparator and put one item in the hoppers and there's your clock 
So the last clock we're taking a look at today, but definitely not the last clock there are. There are a lot of different types of clocks and a lot of different ways to make them. Um, these are just the best ones I found for Bedrock. Is the comparator clock. So we're powering this comparator and it's in subtract mode and it it's running into this block and the, the signal because it's subtracting the signal comes out the side and you can you can take it from there um, this one's really simple to build as well so we're just gonna place down an input a comparator your block your output line I'm gonna bring it up so we can see it a little better and then put it in subtract mode turn this puppy on and there's your clock so there are different different types of clocks than what I showed in this video um, I only went over the compact ones and ones that work for sure on bedrock um, there's things like piston clocks which I guess only work on Java because pistons have different timings on bedrock I couldn't get any piston clocks to work um, there's repeater clocks and and other repeater torch clocks and things of that nature like I said um, I just went over the ones I knew for sure worked on bedrock and that are easy to make and and compact so if this video helped you um, leave a like let me know down in the comment section if you know of any other clocks that work on bedrock and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification icon so you get alerted of all new redstone videos Thanks for watching.